That's my best friend. That's my best friend. What's up, everybody? So, this is a site that I came on for, uh, I happened upon. It's called autoauctions.io. You can see it right here. All right, and basically what this thing does is if you're buying salvage rebuildable cars, this site is second to none. And I'll show you. Looking at this Corolla, <clears throat> I can't bid on it because obviously at this point in time, I'm looking to get my own dealership. So it doesn't make sense for me to pay for auction access to Copart or IAAI through another dealership. But if you've seen the last video about you know easy money or dirty money, um, I decided that I'm going to try my hand at, at it. And what I'm going to do is not really doctor up the cars. But, and if I do doctor it up, fix it the right way. Or as, as right as I can, you know. Um, but a car like this is what I want to get into. Where it doesn't look like it was hit that bad. I can sell it just like this. The bid right over here, for those of you guys who don't know Copart yet, is at $11.50. It's a pure sale, which means it's going to sell. What you could do is copy this number. It's the VIN number. Go to uh, autoauctions.io. You could put it right here. Okay. And it'll give you the history of this car, this 2015. For some reason, my computer is going super slow today. It's really time for a new one. But you can see the VIN number. It is that car. Um, here's the number that it's at right now. But this is the main thing I want you guys to see the vehicle sales history the, the, this is the first and only time they've run this car and it's an insurance company that's running it when you're dealing with salvage rebuildable cars guys let me tell you this right now you want to buy from insurance companies you don't want to buy from dealers so let me show you this car this little gem look at that this is a chrysler 300 it's a 2013 the thing looks smooth you know Someone's bidding on this car that's at $5,500, right? And they're like, oh, man, I'm going to get a really nice good deal on this car. Why would this car be at this auction? I don't know. But let's copy the VIN. There it is. And we'll go back to our new best friend, autoauctions.io. FYI, I do not get paid for this. I'm really just giving it to you guys. We'll come over here. And you'll see that this thing sold for $37.50. Where am I getting $37? 37 dollars okay? So when you go like this. Oh, my gosh. This thing is so slow. All right, let's just... Oh, of course it does that. All right, guys, I apologize. But you could see here that this thing's clearly had some rear-end damage, all right? I mean, it's hit hard in the ass like this thing is it's it's got some damage far cry from this to this all right so a lot of you guys right now are saying to me oh well, what's the big deal someone repaired it and they did a great job look at those body lines look at this look at that and you're probably right but the person I am, the untrusting person that I am, is saying, well, if I went through all that trouble, if I had the license it took to buy cars from IAAI, dealer-only auction, then I had the, the knowledge or the connections to have it repaired, why wouldn't I just have the title issued? Why wouldn't I just sell it at my lot for 10 grand? Why would I run it through here? And the current bid's fifty five hundred. Okay, why why would I run it through it through the auction again? I'm gonna tell you this. This will not be the first car that I've seen get bandaided. So what do you, what am I saying? Well, what I'm saying is they adjusted the hinges in the trunk so and then probably bought a new trunk lid because it doesn't actually give you a good photo from right here. Okay, and they got it so it closes nice. They put a bumper on this, all right? So it's just sitting on there 
decently. I'm not, guys, let me be perfectly clear here. I'm not saying that's what happened here. What I'm saying is I've seen it more times than not where you'll get a car dealer, especially these Miami guys, okay, that will doctor this car up. I've seen, in with my own eyes, hook up a chain around here to a F-150 and pull it out, all right? They did it on a Nissan Altima. They pulled it out, and they had it so it looked really, really nice. Because it's a salvage auction. A little bit of damage is okay, right? And they ran it back through, and when the buyer, obviously when the buyer got it, it was shit. Because you still had all this frame damage, all this back, um, you know, undercarriage, uh, trunk, floor, plan, floor, pan, whatever. Garbage. It's just trash. It won't pass inspection. It has not been repaired right. So if you're buying this car, I would rather buy it like this than buy it like this and not know what I'm getting into. Because you're going to spend a lot more money because this car looks really nice. You take that bumper off, you take that trunk off, you see the, the trunk pan is destroyed. You see there is no no bumper uh, brace, it's gone. It's just held on with sheet, sheet rock screws or you know whatever, a tape and stuff like that. It's bad. But anyway... This website right here, AutoAuctions.io, you you have you have to have it. You absolutely have to have it if you're going to be buying salvage cars. And this is why I won't buy cars from um, non-insurance uh, companies. You know, so see how it says. Uh, let me see something here. All right, notice how this says off-site, off-site. This right here, if it was rebuilt, this might intrigue me a little bit because it's off-site. My hopes are that it's actually at a dealership trying to be sold and they're running it through IAI just saying, hey, you know, if it sells there for a decent amount, we'll take it. If not, you know, we're going to keep it on our lot. This is something that would make me feel a lot better, you know. Um, yeah, you know, we could we could do we could see what the original damage was as well. Let's see. Definitely pay for the if you're gonna get it, guys. Definitely pay for the unlimited package. Um, I want to say I tried to save money. I probably went through fifty of them in about three hours. Like boop 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 boop. So looking at the damage, it, it doesn't look. Oh man, it doesn't look that terrible. Front end, uh, maybe a dent back here. You know, so. And they bought it from an insurance company. You see here on the window. Again, this is, guys, this is what I'm telling you. If you're going to get into this game, learn to be a detective. So, um, USAA is an insurance company. I believe it's for military only, but I'm not 100% sure. But anyway, this person bought it from the insurance company. That is damaged in the back quarter. All right. That makes me feel good because if they're buying it from an insurance company, chances are they know what they're doing. Um, and they put it back together. So nothing nothing wrong with that. So in this instance, insurance company, okay? They spend 10 8 on it and they're, they're running it back. You know, who knows what it costs to repair it? No one's bidding on it. But again, this is, you know, it's off-site. So I'd feel more comfortable buying this car than the other than the 300 let's see moving right along this looks like a nice little i love accords you guys already know it's a really nice good looking car yeah go right here let's take a look no one's bidding on it right now Here, so check this out. This is current, okay? No one's bidding on this car right now, okay? Three days ago, they relisted it, so that means that they tried to run it. 
But they sold it seven months ago for sixty-two fifty, and that was the damage. And they bought it from an insurance company. That's that. And again, this is what this website tells you. This is what you want to know. And you can do your little um, your uh, vehicle history and stuff like that here. These are um, other ones that are still at the auction. But anyway, th that's what it was. I'm sorry. This is what it was. This is what it is. And if you're not going to go out there and actually inspect this vehicle in person, I'd stay away from it. And the body lines look great. But again, like I said, you know, it's easy to get good body lines when you don't have to weld or, or do anything if you're just putting parts on and getting them to stick wherever you want. Um, but anyways, guys, it's up to you. You know, you're, you're in control of whatever you want to do. But if you're looking to get into this type of, you know, rebuilding game or, or stuff like that, or even, like I said, the, the easy money or dirty money, type of deal you definitely want to get that auto auto auctions io just because you want to know what you're working with that's really all it comes down to all right guys i hope you liked it let me know leave a comment i'll talk to you guys in the next one that's my best friend